If you have a Pride Mobility scooter and you're experiencing ignition issues, watch this video to learn how to fix it. Hi everyone, it's Drew with Mobility Direct and today I just want to give you a quick little four minute video on a very common repair on a Pride Mobility product. Now this stands for pretty much most Pride Mobility product that have this ignition. As you see, this could be on the GoGo, the Victory, Pursuit, um, any style console as you see right here that has the barrel of the ignition going through the plastic here and there's a retaining lock nut on the back side that tends to get loosened after the thousands of times that you've turned the scooter off and on after cycling it off and on it's it'll get loose over the course of its use and not to mention the vibrations from the millions and millions of bumps that you'll endure after using the scooter but this is common after you know a significant amount of use this is not something you need to worry about on a new product by any means whatsoever this is towards the older years but this little helpful video can help guide you into fixing your mobility scooter without any parts or any major tools whatsoever so check this out what I want to do is remove the screws that I indicated and I'll go ahead and take them out one by one and on the inside of the scooter you're going to find that there is you know, wire harnesses and all sorts of good stuff but as I'm taking the stuff out here I might as well take the opportunity to mention that if you haven't been to our website make sure you do uh, there's a plethora of information about the newest models of mobility scooters and you should also subscribe to this channel because we constantly up update and provide you guys with some really good content that'll help save you money or help get you out of uh, situations that you might be stuck in by just watching a simple video and understanding the concept of mobility scooter repair. So we're almost done here. We're going to take out these last couple screws and the whole console should come off or the bottom side of this tiller should come off. It's a rectangular piece of plastic as you can see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there were six, seven, eight screws. So once we get the last one out here, everything should just come out with no problem at all. So I did. I got the last screw out. We're here. And this is what you can expect to see on the inside of your scooter. So that's the main harness, as you can see, that big old connection with a whole bunch of color wires coming out of it. And what you're going to want to look for is back behind that, and you'll find this little nut. And as you can see, it just goes on to the backside of the ignition cylinder. And you just tighten it on up. You know, finger tight should be good. I don't think you should uh, have any wrenches in there. And you might want to uh, disconnect the battery from the scooter. I left it on just for video purposes. Um, I'm not putting anything metal in there, and I don't intend on shorting anything out, but I'm just going to use my fingers, squeeze on tight to that nut, and just tighten it up as much as I can, and as you can see, it's nice and snug again. So I'm going to finish tightening it up. You can use the key to help tighten it as well. And there you go. That's it. Now you can turn your scooter off and on again.